creatures that ever lived, and they ruled this planet for millions of years. Every day was a life and death struggle between predator and prey. Then suddenly, they vanished. Go behind the scenes with Discovery filmmakers as they resurrect the past for when dinosaurs roam. Cutting edge animation is the backbone of this project. Before even one frame is filmed, the entire story must be mapped out on paper. Each shot carefully storyboarded and rehearsed, so the animators will have what they need to bring dinosaurs back to life. Before animation director Don Waller and his team can create dinosaurs that move realistically, the design has to be perfected. We begin with the art direction process. So we have our art director come up with concept uh, storyboards and design work of the dinosaurs. And from there, the paleontologist might look at them and say, no, I don't like this, or you know, something's not uh, scientifically accurate about that. So after hopefully everybody agrees on the design, you have your dinosaur model to start animating with. Building animation starts from the ground up literally, with a location shoot in the wilds of the Florida Everglades, directed by Hollywood filmmaker Pierre de Lespinois. We decided to do a chase scene, and we filmed it pretty much like the same way we do a car chase scene. To film in the swamps at speed, we had to string cables through the trees and fly our cameras at about 30 miles an hour to give you the sense of what it was like. Elaborate camera moves, prehistoric looking locations, and special effects are used to create the dinosaur's environment. At Meteor Studios in Montreal, Canada, teams of artists use advanced computer software and loads of creativity to model, animate, and light every shot. As the lead compositor, Sean Hillier puts the final touches on each scene. It's really fascinating. You feel like you're just walk, taking a walk through the woods and suddenly you see you spot a dinosaur. A lot of kids like my daughter would sit there and, and you show them in a book, but then they get to see that on Discovery. Rather than flip through a book, she gets to see dinosaurs moving. Discovery Channel invites you to experience a prehistoric world when dinosaurs roamed. Welcome to the Cretaceous. I can't take this seriously. <laughs> <laughs>